We've all been there, right? We get an explosion of motivation, we sit down to the piano, or we grab our guitar, and then nothing. We completely blank on what we wanted to write, and don't even know where to start. Hello everybody, my name's Kevin, and as somebody with a degree in music theory and composition, I believe I can help you get started on your very first composition. So to start off, we're gonna be writing what's called a period, or a small section of music made up of two phrases. And the best part about these is that they can be very short. As a matter of fact, our composition is gonna be under 10 measures. Now, with music, you have what's called a melody and a harmony. If you do not know how to write these, I suggest looking at my videos in the description below. But in short, a melody is your main ideas of music, your, the lines you tend to remember, while your harmony are the chords that accompany them, add in context. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pick a key signature. Now, in reality, you can pick any key or any mode or write in any way you really want to. However, for simplicity's sake, we're gonna boil it down and just write in C major. And then the next thing you really wanna think about is your chord progression. And I'm just gonna really stick it really simple and use a one, five, one chord progression. This is C major to G major and then back to C major. Each measure is going to start off with a chord tone. What a chord tone is, to put it very simply, we talk about this a little bit more in the harmonies video, but to boil it down really simply, it is a note that is within the chord that we're currently in in the chord progression. So, if we start off in a measure with G major, then the first note of that measure is going to be G, B, or D, as those are the three notes that make up a G major chord, or C, E, G if it's C major. Now the next thing we're talking about are cadences. So our first phrase at our period is going to use a half cadence. All we really need to know right now is that the half cadence will finish on our G chord. So it's gonna finish on the five or the dominant if you want the technical terms. While the second phrase in our period is going to use what's called an authentic cadence. These can be perfect or imperfect, but all I really know is that the authentic cadence finishes on our one chord or our tonic, or in our case, C major. Okay, so here we are in the composition. So for those of you who watched my melodies and harmonies video, this should look very, very familiar. To start, we have our original melody from the melodies and harmonies video. Again, it was slightly altered for the harmonies video, and it's still the same from that video right here, as well as our harmonies right down here. Now, what is all of this in the next three measures? If you paid attention to the shorts I've been uploading, one of them was about retrograde inversion and retrograde inversion, three different things there. What I used here was called a retrograde, which is simply taking your melody line, so the harmonies are actually not retrograded, but the melody line is. What a retrograde does is it flips it, I believe, horizontally. So, it is essentially a perfect mirror of what is being played over here. Hey, that rhymed. But, and it will help look a little bit better if I do this. And now, we have a mirror, a retrograde. This is very commonly used in atonal music and in counterpoint. So, our one to five, one, five, one chord progression. Again, just two chords, and that's all it is. I did slightly change the harmonies here, just so that way, you know, I followed the same formula that we had used, using the other two chord tones that are not seen in the melody. And then the other slight change is that in this measure right here is one, two, three, four, fifth measure, I did make dotted half notes as the G chord really goes through to the end of the third beats, and the C major doesn't really pop up till beat four. So that is just a slight change there, but this is a perfectly fine first composition. Now it's no Mozart, but it still sounds really, really good for a first composition, if you ask me. So thank you all for watching. A lot of work went into making this video, so if you can leave a like, that'd be very much appreciated. And subscribe, because if you've made it to the end of the video, you probably like my content, so go and click the button so you don't miss another video. All of my socials will be linked in the description below, so if you're interested, go and give me a follow. And as always, have a very lovely day.